Welcome back to The Hope Show. I am joined by Dave Phillips, along with Adam Sanchez. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. It's Thanksgiving season. It's a good time of year. Yeah, also excited to be here and talk about what God is doing here and around the world. Mm -hmm. I am especially excited to have you guys here just to hear a little bit more about stories of hope. And I do have a question for both of you of what has been the most impactful thing and story of hope you've heard this year? This last fall, uh, we celebrated our 20th year of working in Uganda. One of the testimonies that I heard was uh, a little boy that grew up, uh, one of 18 children in the home, and that, that kid grew up impacted by CHF's program, received food packs, received benefits from working with the local church. That little boy is now a young man and he's pastoring a church, and I think he just represents one of many kids around the world. They're now growing into adulthood and they're seeing um, God just grow them to their full potential, and those things excite me more than anything else. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Earlier this year, I had the privilege to be in Ethiopia and with our partner there. And they're serving a family who comes from Somalia. And this family had nothing when they came. But the church has been ministering to them this whole time, delivering food packs and caring for their needs. The church provided everything out of even their poverty. They were giving uh, beds and clothes for the kids. And it was so sweet to see they want to do more. And so it just continues and compounds that generosity. Uh, just gross. Uh, it's really sweet to see how God does that. Yeah. Well, I love both of those stories. It's really sweet to see just the lasting impact of the ministry and the hope that is found through the gospel. And that's what our church partners are providing to families all over the world. One question, and this is for you, Dave. As we look ahead, I'd love to know what are you most excited for uh, in this coming year? God just continues to bless us with generous supporters and Every year we're receiving more and more food packs and that obviously means that every year we're impacting more and more children. But what gets me so excited is that every food pack provides the opportunity for a gospel conversation. Mm -hmm. So that relationship between that local pastor and that child is growing year to year, and I can't wait to see what Guy does in the next year. Mm -hmm. I could talk to you guys all day about just the impact Children's Hunger Fund is having the lives of suffering children around the world. I won't do that though. I have one more question. For you. Okay. We are challenging our community of supporters this Giving Tuesday to help provide two million meals for children around the world. What would you guys say to inspire them? Yeah, I would say there's a tangible impact that you have. There is a pastor somewhere that desires to serve his community and with our help can do it even more. And it's sweet that you could be a part of that. I think when you think of two million meals, that's a big number. But maybe think of it this way. Every week through Children's Hunger Fund, we have children and adults come through and volunteer. So many of them want to be part of the solution. And we had a little boy that sent us a letter with a check for $7. And he said, I've done some chores at home, and I know that this check will now provide 28 meals for children in need. Hmm. And when I think of it this way, if a child is willing to do that, can't we all, by working together, hit this goal? And I know we can accomplish it, and I know we will with God's help. So thank you for all the support you guys give us. Amen. Well, I am encouraged and inspired, and I know our amazing supporters will be as well. So thank you both. Thank you, Dave and Adam, for joining me today. Do you want to help me sign off? Let's try it. All right. If we have to. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. This has been The Hope Show. See you See next time. See you week. next time. We keep saying next time, and you say next week. It's great. Oh. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> It does say weak here. <laughs> but I like that it's not the same. Yeah. You know?